Hey gang, Scott here. In this video, I'll talk about the Remove Dust Spots feature of Luminar Neo. This is one of the new AI tools in Luminar Neo. I'll show you how it works. If you can click a button, you can operate the tool. And we'll look at some examples, a few examples of uh, how does Remove Dust Spots fare? Does it do well? Does it not do so well? And so forth. Uh, I have a, a larger, broader video posting about uh, Luminar Neo and overall thoughts about the product. So if you're looking for that level of uh, overview, check out that video. And in this one, I'm just going to talk about the remove dust spots. And you know, in brief, net net, it's a good tool. It works very well. It finds dust spots that uh, can be hard to find. And it does not touch things that really aren't a spot. And you know, I understand why the tool does that. And I'll show you this by example here. And uh, let's just start with this one here. This is actually a really uh, interesting one, I think, to start with because it's hard to see the dust spots to begin with. There's a couple that are obvious over on the left-hand side of the frame. We can see those. And then we have this, uh, I guess it's a bird or something in the lower left corner that uh, just blurry because this was a, a longer exposure, a little bit longer uh, on the shutter. And what we have trouble seeing is there's actually some spots in the upper right. And let me use the develop tool and the curve to really force you to see them. I'm just gonna grab this and just push this around. You see that spot suddenly show up there? and a few more that were very difficult to see. Okay, let's remember where those things are. And I'll reset develop. We'll go into the erase where the remove dust spots exists. And I'll click on that. And we see that those spots are removed on the left hand side. This, uh, this little bird or whatever it is down in the corner was not removed and I get that, that's not a dust spot so I, I wouldn't expect the tool to find that. What about those ones that were in the upper right there? If I go back over into develop, I'll grab that curve again, just kind of push it around. It did a good job, right? That is no longer there. There's nothing up in that upper right corner. So it found it quite well. Uh, all right, so um, that's an example, kind of looking at it in black and white. Or what about color? You know, uh, can we do this with color? Of course we can. Yeah, the, the tool works with any kind of photo. And it does find spots pretty darn well with color photos and ones that you might not be able to see. In this scene here, there's really no obvious dust spot. So for illustrative purposes, I'll go into that curves tool and develop and force the issue again. And look up in the sky there. There are actually quite a few. There's two or three that are very, very prominent. And so, all right, how does remove dust spots do for those? All right, I kind of saw the hint of them disappear. Let's check again with that that curve manipulation. And sure enough, it did a really nice job of finding those and getting rid of them. So that's another uh, you know, uh, success for remove dust spots. So this tool works quite well when you've got dust spots that are well isolated. The last example I wanna show you is where the tool will do most of the work for you, but there are some things that you will have to do cleanup on your own. So uh, let me open this one up. I dug into my archive to find a photo where there were all sorts of uh, <laughs> really egregious spots, very dirty sensor. I wanna point out a couple of things in this photo. There's some up in the sky. There is one over here in the upper left that's touching up against a palm frond, right? So it's not well isolated. And there are also dust spots down here in the bottom, right? You know, dust spots can appear anywhere in your photo. They're not exclusive to skies. You know, as a landscape person, I tend to see them in the sky most often because that's where I have either, you know, um, in negative space or things are just, you know, empty or, or clean colors. But let's get into erase here. Hit that remove dust spots. And most things were taken care of. The stuff that's down in the lower right taken care of. What uh, was up in the middle here is taken care of. What was not is that upper left where there was that one spot right here that uh, did not get automatically detected or removed. And so we still are in the erase tool. So if I tap there once and erase, 
I took care of that on my own. So the remove dust spots, uh, it is a good tool and it does speed up your workflow. I haven't found a situation where using it cost me time, right? You know, you hit the button, let it think about it, look at your photo, find the spots, remove them. I haven't seen any artifacts. It doesn't get too aggressive with things, but it may leave behind spots if there is a, you know, it edges up against some other detail in your photo. So watch for those things, but otherwise, I do like how Remove Dust Spots is working. Uh, the tool in and of itself uh, does a good job. And if you are using Luminar Neo, and especially if you've got a, a very dirty sensor where you're having to go and click 10, 12, 15 spots, something like that, this tool will save you some time. Hope you found the video useful. If you've got questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.